Hello guys, how are you all doing? I have made a video about uh, buying a property in order to get the visa, the permanent residency visa. And this video has been yielding results. A lot of people have been writing me and I am here to answer a few questions I have received from a subscriber. And I'm going to do that after the intro because this might be interesting for all of you. So stay there and I'll be right back. Hello guys, how are you all doing? This video here about getting a property, getting a residency visa through uh, the purchase of a property has been uh, producing a lot of good results. Many people have been writing me in order to ask me details about this and to have a better guidance through the process. So I have received here four interesting questions from Akil Romzi. He's a subscriber, he says he's been following the channel for a while now and he's interested, he's from Nigeria and he's interested in the purchase of a property to get permanent, permanent residency. So he has four questions that I wanted to share with you because they might help you as well. Question number one he asks is, after purchasing a property worth about 200k United States dollars, will my spouse also get the permanent residency visa or it's just me? The answer is yes. Not only your spouse will get the permanent visa, but any kids you might have under the age of 21, okay? So when you buy the property and you receive the visa, also your spouse will receive the visa and any kids you might have under the age of 21. Question number two, can I use the property for rentals, say Airbnb to generate income, or it has to be strictly for my residential purpose? Look, I had to consult the law here and I have the law by my side, the immigration law and the resolution about this property thing. And the answer is yes, you can use this to invest, uh, to generate income, Airbnb or whatever. Because it says here that once the property and the process is registered through feather, the federal police, uh, you have to stay here for a, a period of 14 days, two weeks, uh, be that in a row or back and forth so but it has to count 14 days in the period of two years of every two years so if you do that what you do with the rest of your days of uh, what you do with the rest of the two years it's not the government's problem as long as you respect the laws everything's okay you can get out of the country you can rent it's not a problem uh, so question number three uh, how long will the process, the whole process take from finding a property to purchase to getting the residency? Look, I don't know how long it takes for you to find a property here in Brazil, right? But for you to purchase is something fast. If you have money, buddy, you, you buy, you sign the contract. It doesn't take, I think, two weeks, I think. It's really fast. Um, getting the, the residency, the law says that when you apply for the visa, and you prove everything, you receive a temporary document to give you the concession of, of the residency. And during a period of four years, they will examine your situation, your documents and everything. Uh, if in four years, the property is in good shape, in good conditions, it's still under your name, you receive the permanent residency visa. That can be renewed after four years again until you stay definitely here. That's what the law says, okay? Uh, question number four, how long does it take to become a citizen after the permanent residency visa? Well, I have just said, I don't know if you become a, f a citizen, but I know that after the period of four years, two or three renovations, probably just two, you can stay here permanently, okay? So Akil Romzi, thank you very much for your messages. I really wanted to make a video about this to help other people as well and to make the channel going of course if you want to make this channel going even more we have a patreon account so you can find the address of our patreon account 
uh, in the info of the video. Consider supporting us there to receive more and more content about Brazil, to help us get out of Sao Paulo, not only film in Sao Paulo, but film the whole Brazil. And also, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to click on like, and don't forget to leave a message for me. It's really important when you guys do that. And also, if you have a question, you want to send me a more personal direct message to ask me about your situation in Brazil, do that through our Instagram account, okay? It's going to be a pleasure to answer everything that you might ask me. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time.